Derbyshire win first game as Sussex slump. A scintillating knock of 150 from Ben Brown led Sussex's resistance, but Derbyshire are still on top heading into day three. Their hosts some 210 runs behind with just four wickets in hand. Sussex would start the day hoping to avoid the follow-on and strike a blow to their visitors' hopes of closing in on what would be their first win of the season. The former captain wouldn't get much further upon the resumption of day three, caught by a leading edge by Matty McKinnon, out for 157, just the start Derbyshire wanted. Three balls later, the hosts were two down and still quite some way off, avoiding the follow-on. Crocom out to the first delivery he faced, trapped in front by Critchley. Carson was still there though, unbeaten overnight and looking good for another 50, which would be forthcoming. Melton whipped down to fine leg, another great knock for Sussex. He kept pushing his goal to get his side past that follow-on target and he was making a good fist of it. The score up to 300 with another boundary from the precocious spinner. But he couldn't do anything to help his partners. Two fell in one, Critchley over. First went Hunt, bowled by one that gripped and turned onto middle and off. And Atkins followed a few balls later. The number 11 looked to leave, but he only let Critchley pin back his off stump. Brown's innings had been a real highlight for Sussex, as had Ollie Carter's 50 and Jack Carson's unbeaten 64. But the card was littered with noughts. Only Haynes and Ibrahim were the other batters to get off the mark. Six more, finishing with ducks and they were straight back into the firing line, the follow-on enforced by Derbyshire. But it would prove to be a more fruitful start for the hosts, Haynes and Orr both off the mark quickly, and soon they built an effective partnership. It was up to 43 for none at lunch, the deficit reduced to 122. There was a real change of fortunes after the break though, Ali Orr out with no change to the score, and fresh off his knock of 157, Ben Brown couldn't add to the total, his middle stump removed as he got a bottom edge. They'd moved past 50 when Haynes followed, sent back attempting a quick single, run out by Aitchison and Guest. Ibrahim and Ward took them to the cusp of 100 runs, the deficit was now down its double figures, and it looked like they may still be there to take their side to parity. But a poor shot from Ward led him down, bowled by Critchley. Carter followed LBW to Melton for four, the score now over 100, but there was a sense Derbyshire had found momentum. And so it proved, another for Melton, Ibrahim wrapped on the pads and out for 29. Carson returned to the middle, the only Sussex man yet to lose his wicket, and he joined Rawlins in fighting back against Derbyshire. The visitor's lead chipped away at, and before long it was down into single digits. With one shot, a three-run deficit turned into a three-run advantage. Critchley carted over the leg side for six in an expensive over, the 50-run partnership brought up at the same time. But it all unravelled in the next over. Carson out for 16, caught behind off Dahl. Crocombe soon followed, defences beaten, bowled by Madsen. And they were down to their final wicket, a pair for Hunt, out caught by Aitchison at first slip, Dahl with his second. Rawlins recognised he was the last line of resistance, up to 50 when he heaved Madsen to the fences. A rapid half-century came off 37 balls. He wasn't done though, the crowd entertained, Dahl lifted over the keeper for four. Rawlins went, looking for another inventive shot, he got the switch hit all wrong and was stumped by Guest for 58 of the bowling of Madsen. Derbyshire set 23 to win. His knock had at least provided the Sussex Fatal with some entertainment in an innings that had given them little to enjoy. They were surely heading for defeat now, but could they make Derbyshire sweat with some early wickets? They certainly could. Harry came out bold as he looked to leave Crocom. That would be the extent of the Sussex success though. Critchley, in as an auxiliary opener, made short work of what was left. Back-to-back -back fours in the next over took them to the cusp of victory, which was then sealed with two runs. They needed just 22 balls to get over the line. Defeat condemns Sussex to the wooden spoon, bottom of Division 3, after slumping to defeat in all four of their divisional stage contests. Derbyshire will be relieved. They almost went the entire season without tasting victory. This one, then, will be especially sweet.